Fiends of Chaos is your king of the night. 57. And that's all I how much energy I got. The video's over. No, just kidding. Now we're getting to a death battle. Two big, uh, gigantic, I would say gigantic, but two big, uh, of the strongest mutated, uh, versions of, uh, uh, uh versions of, uh, of, of uh, mutated characters from both different series. One is the, uh, the you know you know the horror shoot the horror the action horror base re game Resident Evil mostly Resident Evil 3 Nemesis go up against the demon infused High Commander uh, Ravis Knox Flory of Niflheim so these two titans will be in the ring now let's talk about Nemesis now Nemesis again now there's different versions of Nemesis in the in in three, they didn't go in the in the third game. They didn't go very into detail of Nemesis's past of who he was, but in the movie, it was changed a little bit. In the in the movie, it was actually um, it was actually Alice's friend uh that got turned into the ne got put in the nemesis project and became nemesis now i think it probably could have been the same for the nemesis in the game but different character because well the movie and uh games they're they go through i don't even want to talk about how different they are they're just different that's all you gotta know that movie would just be entertaining and stuff like that the game is already a best standalone as it is and 3 is actually one of my favorite Resident Evil games in the first place anyways. And I am a Nemesis fanboy. I actually own 3. So, pretty much Nemesis comes from whoever it was in 3, pretty much. From Umbrella to, uh, to be released to kill any members of Stars. Now, he has retained some intelligence considering... It's nearly impossible to kill Nemesis, but not just only it's near impossible to kill Nemesis, but he understands the word stars and why you should kill him. He even says stars in all of his dialogue, but he know, but he knows who to kill and who not to kill. He knows who's a threat and who's not. If they're Umbrella, he will not kill him because he he's actually the mo he's actually their best zombie weapon ever, considering. Umbrella could control Nemesis, so he's actually their best bet, pretty much. Even in the movie, until well, and the until well, the lead until the leader says he no longer the leader of Umbrella told him he, in the movie he no longer needs him anymore, which bad idea for telling him he's useless because he just fucked him up. But Nemesis does have some intelligence after even being mutated. Enough to know what to go after and whatnot. Now, he is nearly impossible to kill. Like, it's impossible. It doesn't mean he's invincible, though. He's not immortal. But he's pretty hard to kill because of his hard body and, you know, the way he was made. And how big he is. Which, I think, if anything, I'm going to estimate he's at least 10 to 11 feet tall. But Nemesis is a very formidable and he hits hard and he uses a rocket launcher, which does a, a big hit. So... Pretty much, yeah. I, I, Nemesis is something to be scared of. Nemesis is something to be afraid of. I think he could possibly go toe-to-toe -to -toe with Pyramid Head and actually get at least a good blows in Pyramid Head. Of course, Pyramid Head is immortal, but we're not talking about Pyramid Head. So, that's pretty much the bio of Nemesis. Now, when it comes to speed, he's slower because he's a bigger character. So, you know, his speed is down, but his physical prowess and strength, you know, he could actually take Ravis and throw him against a wall in demon form pretty easy and chuck him. So when it comes to strength, I'd have to say Nemesis has all the strength considering how big he is. I mean, this dude is why the, he's a sentinel. In Marvel vs. Capcom, he's even considered a sentinel character. Now let's get to Ravis Knox Flore. Now we're talking about the 
internia uh, internia form of Ravis, the demon form of Ravis. So we're not going to count the original Ravis, but internia does. But the internia does take the skills of the original Ravis and multiplies it by ten, considering the fact in, in the internia form in form one he's already surpassed. Idolus' demon form, Pharaohus. In fact, he's the second closest demon, closest, close to, second demon character close to Arden. <laughs> you know, Arden didn't want to make him too strong because he could have made him stronger than him, which would be a threat. So, you know, but he's at least close to Arden's power, you know, power gauge. You know, so he's the strongest Niflheim demon creation ever. You know, of Niflheim. You know, even stronger than Immortalis. So, you know, that's pretty. That that's a pretty heavy feat right there. That's a pretty heavy feat right there. As it is, but Ravis Knox Frey's uh, power is pretty much is pretty much what he had as a human being in Episode Ignis. He can manipulate lightning attacks and stuff like that, and he can also do Arden's Purple Blast, where he does, where Arden does that power up thing, and a bunch of purple energy comes out. Our, um, right, Onteria has the power to do that. Plus, Onteria, you know, plus on plus Onteria could do a lot more than just that as well. <laughs> His his sword could cut through literally anything, as as it is, considering the fact that on, you know, you're gonna have to pop your, considering the fact he could take out your health a lot, and just like Nemesis, he's nearly impossible to kill, and that's because the Ontario, because Ontario t takes at least a little bit of the power of Ravis, but is already a strong demon. I mean, uh, uh, theoretically, Ontario is up to the level of how Arden is. Except not too strong, and 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 when it comes to intelligence, Ontario doesn't have that intelligence because Arden was smart enough to take that the intelligence because <laughs> when because when Rav okay because when Ravis was when Ravis was in the on uh, the Ontario Anter uh, was it Ontario Anterna yeah when he's in Anterna form he was saying kill Arden kill Arden kill Arden. Arden must die. He was chanting some stuff. So, Ravis did take a little bit of intelligence, considering he asked Noctis to kill him, you know. So, he does have a little bit of intelligence, but not as much as Nemesis, you know. <laughs> Which was a smart idea, because if you would have gave the host, Ravis, more intelligence, he would have broke out of that and killed Arden. So, to, to, to control Ontario, you know, Ra uh, um, Arden had to make Ravis stupid. Pretty much, Ravis is a vegetable in that form. So, when it comes to intelligence, I'd have to say Nemesis is stronger. When it comes to, I say when it comes to speed, Ravis is a lot stronger. And when it comes to magical ability, now, remember, Nemesis is a scientifically altered, it, Nemesis is a scientifically altered being, you know? <laughs> He's made by science. Ravis is made by by magic because demons you know because Niflheim uses demons so you're t you, so pretty much Ravis would already instantly have a lot more magic than you know when it comes to magic he has a lot more than um nemesis now granted Ravis could actually block his shots could sit you know could block his shots using just that purple blast he used against Noctis and his friends and he would deflect the shot back to Nemesis so Nemesis would be screwed a little bit. The only thing it's gonna be really hard to decide the end of this battle because they're both pretty much super powerhouses that could take so many heavy hits. But run Ray when it comes to Ravis, his speed is way faster than Nemesis. You know, because unlike Nemesis, Nemesis is way too big. Uh, Ravis uh, is uh, at that form is only nine feet, <laughs> but not too hulkish. You know, not too hulkish. He's able to run fast, so he can outrun and then do a maneuver against ne Nemesis, and he could use magic to block Nemesis's guns. So Nemesis would have to depend on his on his little tentacle things to do it. But even then, remember Ravis's uh, sword arm from on from Internia actually is sharp enough to cut through anything. He can cut through those antennas. 
So, when it comes to fast and magic, I'd have to say Ravis is the winner when it comes to magic and speed. <laughs> now, this is going to be really hard to decide. You know, now, I think, the, now, I think it'd be possibly, not to sound biased, and, not, and this might upset some of the Resident Evil fans. Don't get me wrong, Nemesis is super powerful. In fact, he was actually the only character I was really scared of in 3. Like, I was legitly shitting my pants playing the PlayStation 1 copy when I got my PlayStation 1 copy. You know, so, you know. Nemesis does get d does have a lot of power on his hands, but this is where speed's going to be needed because, you know... Ravis could cut through anything with that with his sword arm. His sword arm is that of if I could if I could put like ten chainsaws, ten katanas, all in one. Because it because Arden programmed that weapon to have the strong you know something that could even cut cut through the royal arms, and that's why Ravis has that arm right that that me, that metal arm. Ontario has that metal arm. Not to mention, part of Ontario was made out of General Glocka from Kingsglaive. You know, some pieces were made. That metal arm fused right into the Internia form, thus making him a little bit stronger. So he has a piece of Glocka in him, so he has more resistance. But it's not only about resistance and who's physically stronger. If, you, if you're strong but you can't hit your opponent... Then you're gonna lose the match. Is it be it be like it be like this? It be like when Future Trunks versus Perfect Cell. Future Trunks was too big. He was stronger than Cell physically, but he couldn't get a hit in. And Nemesis wouldn't be able to get a hit in. He'd be able to shoot his rocket launcher all the time. But even if he was lucky enough to kill on Turnia Form One, on Turnia Form Two is five times faster than he was in his first form when he turns to his purple form. It has a little bit of electricity discharge that makes him super fast. Not to mention his purple blast hits heavier, but it's it, 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 I compare it to uh, like it is with Dragon Ball Z with Future Trunks versus Perfect Cell. You know, Future Trunks wasn't able to hit Cell because I'm too big of you. So pretty much that's what Nemesis would be like. So Ravis would actually end up winning the battle just on the on, on the factor of speed, and then his and then uh, Antonia can regenerate a little bit. You know, so can, I mean, so can, so can Nemesis, but Nemesis is slow. All would, Ravis would have to do is slice him to pieces and then use his purple blast to, for the incineration process. And then thus, Ravis Knox Foray would actually win the battle on Turnia Ravis Knox Foray. So, Ravis would in, win the battle, tactically, just because... Nemesis is slow. You got to remember that. So may the crystal be with you. Don't be angry with the results. These are just what I think would happen. And may the crystal be with you.